Mr. Monson is a 49-year-old male with no past mental history presenting to the ED with chest pain. Chest pain was pressure-like in nature, non-positional, non fluidic and without radiation. It was located in the middle of the chest. The patient states it occurred while pulling carpet and carrying it up the stairs, and the chest pain improved with rest. Associated symptoms included nausea and shortness of breath. He does have a positive cardiac family history and is a current smoker with a 33-pack year history. Um, while in the telemetry unit, the patient did have an in inferior STEMI two days ago, and two days ago he did ha have the PTI with a drug looming stent to the RCA. So, but so overnight, he has had no acute events overnight. He denies any bleeding at the uh, insertion site. Uh, no chest pain, no shortness of breath after PCI with drug looming stent to the RCA. Um, this morning, his vital signs, uh, they seem to be fairly with the normal limits, except an elevated blood pressure of a 148 over 82. Physical exam also seems to be not, contribu not contributory as well. Um, labs, uh, he did have the elevated troponins uh, during his STEMI, so it went from 0 0.04 to 0 0.85. And his EKG did show SC elevations at the time in leads 23 AVF, showing an inferior STEMI. Um, BMP and CBC uh, seem to be within normal limits as well. Uh, imaging uh, chest x ray showed no abnormalities, uh, and uh, the cardiac cath findings uh, uh, prior to the drug looming stent placed uh, showed a complete occlusion of the RCA, so we proceeded with the drug looming stent. So in terms of assessment and plan, um, the patient did have a STEMI, SASPOS VCI, with drug looming sent to the RCA. He did have typical chest pain, substernal, worsened with exertion, and improved with rest. He does have the positive family history of cardiac disease as well as a 33-pack year history. EKG showed an inferior STEMI, and he did have elevated troponins as well. So the plan would be this, to continue with the dual antiplatelet therapy of aspirin and Plavix, so continue with metoprolol, continue with uh, high-intensity statin, and uh, give him a sublingual nitroglycerin as needed, and we can get get an echo as well for him as well. Now, he does have seems to have uncontrolled hypertension as well, so he has had two elevated blood pressures while in the hospital, one at 148 over 89, and the other at 148 over 82, and he's on no home medications for that as well. We have him on the beta blocker right now, so we can continue with that, and we can also add an ACE inhibitor like lisinopril, 10 milligrams QD as well. And about six weeks ago, he did have uh, some dyslipidemia shown when he was uh, at the office. And it showed a, an elevated cholesterol of 236, elevated triglycerides of 250, elevated LDL of 160, and a, a decreased uh, HDL of 34. We have him on a high-intensity statin at this time, a torque statin 80, so we, we can continue with that as well. And he also is a current everyday smoker, so he has a 33-pack year history, so we can give him some smoking cessation counseling as well. All right.